Hey guys, it's Anna, and today I'm going to show you how to take embed code that you've gotten from a website, for instance, from a Google Calendar, and create a widget to hold that embed code um, on your eClass page, and then add that widget to your home page of your class. So I'm in my sandbox today. I'm going to start um, by going to Course Admin, and usually Course Admin is the place you're going to go for anything you want to edit on your page all the options are on course admin. Um, from here, yours may be in a different order than mine. I like to have mine organized by name in alphabetical order because I can remember what the different tools I wanna to use are called and that helps me to find them. Some people like to have them in order by category and that's fine too. So um, today we're going to the widgets tool. And a widget is just one of the little blocks on the front page of your course homepage. Um, there are all different kinds of blocks built in, things like, um, for instance, your activity feed um, is a widget. And so we're going to build a custom one today that's just going to hold our embed code. So you're going to click on Create Widget. And we'll scroll down. The first thing you need to do is give it a name, and that is required. So I'm going to call this Google Calendar, because that's what kind of embed code I'm adding. And then this is a little bit non-intuitive. Um, you, you don't need to put anything under description. The actual information for your widget, what the students are going to see, needs to go under this Content tab. So you do have to enter a name first, but then you can click on Content. And if I scroll down, it gives me a window to edit what's going to be there. So if you wanted to do something just like text, maybe your office hours or something like that, you could just type it straight in here. But I've got embed code I want to add. So to do that, I'm going to use this first button. That's the Insert Stuff button. And it lets you, it's a very flexible tool that lets you insert all kinds of different things um, onto your eClass page. I'm going to scroll down and find Enter Embed Code, which is right here. Now, I previously copied my embed code. Um, we did that in the previous video, so I'm just going to paste it here. I'm doing Control V. If you like to right click, you could also right click and do paste, um, but paste it in there. Click Next. And it's going to show you a preview here of what it's going to look like on your page. Then click Insert, and there it appears in the window. Now I need to save what I did, so I'm going to do Save and Close. I finished that widget, so it was that easy to create a widget. Basically, create widget button, and then go to Insert Stuff, paste in your embed code, and you're done. But now I need to add that widget to my home page, because my home page has certain widgets on it, and that new one is not one of them. So. To do that, we're going to go back to Course Admin, and you're going to look for the link that says Home Pages. There it is. And scroll down to see the home pages that you have. You should find one that has a check mark to it as the one that you're using. This one says Active, that's the one that I'm using. Um, you should see a blue link there to be able to edit that page. Um, if you don't, it means you're using a home page provided by GCPS and you'll have to make a copy. So I'm not going to go into that right now, but I'll be happy to help you with that if you need that. So I'm going to click on the link for the home page I'm using in order to edit it. And then as I scroll down, this is the basic layout of my page. And then as I scroll down, I see the different widgets, the different blocks I have on my home page, and I can rearrange these um, as I want to just by clicking and dragging. And then I can add something. So I want to add um, in this wider column here, my new widget um, with the Google Calendar. So I'm gonna click on Add Widget in that section. And if you choose the wrong section, it's not that big of a deal um, because you can always move it later. I have a lot of widgets, so I'm going to search by name. You could just scroll down and find it. Check the box for the one you want to add. And it's this blue button down here. There's a, a blue button down here that lets you select it. It's kind of off the screen. I can't quite scroll, but 
and there it is. I could choose to put it up at the top if I want. You can drag it to whatever section you want it in. What you're looking for, if you see that little bar there that appears in between, you want to see that bar to show that you're dropping it somewhere. If I hold it kind of in the middle like this, it's not going to move. I don't see the bar anywhere. So you want that bar to show you where it's going to go. Save and close when you're done. And you can click Course Home or click on the name of your course to go back to the front page. And now I have added that Google Calendar to the front. So it took me a few minutes, uh, about five minutes with explanation, but not too hard to do um, if you follow along. So please let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you're not able to edit your home page, I'm glad to help you with that. Um, maybe I'll make another video about that, but hopefully this is helpful to you.